Hello my super fans, welcome back to another Juicy Royal installment. Today's headline. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex tell all interview has been heavily criticised for the incendiary claims they made against the royal family, but the publisher of the Daily Mail has hit out at the show for another reason. The publisher has sent a legal letter to Harpo Productions and broadcasters CBS over its headline montage used in the programme, which it claims is misleading. The Daily Mail's publisher, Associated Newspaper ANL, have sent a number of legal letters to the two companies, with the latest complaint sent on April 1st, accusing them of releasing, refusing to address the issues they raised. ANL Group Editorial Legal Director Elizabeth Hartley said, I have stressed in each of my letters that this is an issue of accuracy and integrity. It is a betrayal of viewers, trust to broadcast fake images. It is not our concern, but it also does nothing for your client's reputation and the credibility of its programming content. The letter gave three examples of Harpo fake editing Daily Mail headlines, which were used to show the extremes that media was going to attack Meghan. ANL also gave nine examples of headlines by foreign publications as made were masquerading as British press headlines. Ms. Hartley said, your client's unwillingness to remove these false headlines and attributions and it appears that there were more speaks volumes. There is never any justification for falsifying content and if their views were correct, it would not be necessary to deploy such underhand tactics. ANL claimed a number of the headlines have either been taken out of context or deliberately edited. In a letter sent last month, ANL said, Many of the headlines have been either taken out of context or deliberately edited and displayed as supporting evidence for the program's claims that the Duchess of Sussex was subjected to racist coverage by the British press. This editing was not made apparent to viewers and, as a result, this section of the program is both seriously inaccurate and misleading. The Mail isn't the only British newspaper giant questioning the authenticity of the headlines used in the program. The Telegraph analysed more than 30 headlines used in the show that were portrayed as UK-based and found that stories from 11 American and Australian tabloids were included. The newspaper also found that headlines used by producers to allege racial bias by UK newspapers were actually reports exposing racial slurs made by others. Harpo previously issued a statement saying Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, shared in the interview their personal story. We stand by the broadcast in its entirety. So far, CBS has not responded to requests for a comment. ITV, the broadcasters that aired the interview in the UK, decided to remove four headlines from the montage less than a week after it had first aired. An ITV spokesperson said, Regarding the headlines the Mail on Sunday have drawn to our attention, we have taken steps to edit these on the ITV hub. Will this drama ever end? Hey, let's hope not! Thank you guys so much for watching, like, comment and subscribe. With new videos daily, I'll see you guys all again tomorrow, same time, same place. Goodbye for now.